Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 16th of 2023 well, it is titled a daytime moon meets morning star. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two of the brighter objects in the sky. And that would be our moon seen here as a thin waning crescent in the morning sky. And we see the multiple images of the moon. And the bright dot next to it is the planet Venus, sometimes known as the morning or evening star. And right now this would be the morning star as it's visible in the morning sky before sunrise. Now, our when objects orbit uh, in our solar system, they're essentially in a pretty flat plane. And that means that when they pass close to each other in the sky, they will occasionally pass directly in front of one another. Now it doesn't always work out that way because all of the orbits are slightly tilted. But that flat plane is a pretty good approximation. And because of that objects can pass in front of one another and here is what we are seeing is called an occultation that occurred just about a week ago. And that was when our moon passed in front of the planet Venus. And if you start looking at the left you see that there is definitely some space between Venus and our moon. And as you look at each successive image moving farther right then you see that the Venus is getting closer and closer until you can definitely tell that it is now starting to disappear by the middle here. It's disappearing behind the limb of the moon. And by the time you get to the last image, Venus is completely gone. Now, of course, it's just hidden by the moon and it's something quite similar to an eclipse. So when our moon passes in front of the sun, we can get a solar eclipse. Well, in cases like this, we call it an occultation where our moon is blocking out the light of the planet Venus. Now, of course, it could happen with other objects as well. And this would not have been visible from just any place on Earth because of the um, perspective from which we see things, the position of the moon relative to Venus will be different at different parts on the Earth. So you only saw this if you were in northern locations. So if you were too far south, then you would not have seen Venus pass in front of the moon, they would have passed very close together, but not directly in a line. So not only do you have to have the positioning correct, but you've got to be on the right spot on Earth, in order to be able to see something like this. And on most cases, most of the time when Venus and the moon pass close together, Venus uh, will pass well above or well below the moon. It is only those special occasions like this one a week ago, where everything is lined up just right and at least certain locations on Earth got to see Venus being occulted by the moon. So that was our picture of the day for November 16th of 2023. It was titled Daytime Moon Meets Morning Star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Aurora over Greenland. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.